Hello and welcome back to AutoCAD Civil 3D Training. In this lesson, we'll learn about designing simple profiles in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this tutorial, you'll create simple existing ground and layout profiles for an alignment. An existing ground profile is extracted from a surface and shows the changes in elevation along a horizontal alignment. A layout profile is a designed object that shows the proposed grade and elevations to be constructed. Profiles are displayed on an annotated grid called a profile view. Go ahead and open your profile dash one drawing in your tutorials folder. This drawing contains an existing ground surface, which you can see right here, and it contains an alignment that represents a road center line, as you can see right here and you'll find a polyline right here that actually represents the center line of an intersecting road. You'll use the rectangle at the northeast corner of the site as a guide to create a profile view. Let's get started by clicking on your home tab and go to your create design panel. Click the profile drop down and click create surface profile. In the Create Profile from Surface dialog box, you'll see that we already have our existing surface selected. Go ahead and click Add. The surface gets added to the profile list. And note for this exercise, the first street alignment and the existing grade surface are the only available selections and are selected by default. Click Draw in Profile View. Click Create Profile View in the wizard. Now select the lower left corner of the rectangular placeholder. The First Street Profile View is now displayed, containing the dashed profile view that represents the existing ground surface. The left and right sides of the profile annotate elevations, and the bottom annotates the stations. Now that we have our existing grade profiled, let's go ahead and create our layout profile. Let's get started again by going to our Home tab. Go to the Layers panel. Navigate till you get to the Profile layer. And then thaw this layer. Now you'll use the Circles and the Profile view as a guide to draw the layout profile. Go to your Home tab, click on the Profile drop-down, and then select Profile Creation Tools. You'll notice in the command line that it's asking us to select the profile view to create the profile. Go ahead and select our profile. In the Create Profile Draw New dialog box, specify the following parameters. In the name, let's type in Finished Grade center line dash first street for the profile style we'll keep it at design profile but for profile label set we'll select complete label set then click OK the profile layout tools toolbar is now displayed this toolbar enables you to lay out a finished grade profile using either points of vertical intersection or PVIs or constraint-based tangent and curve entities. For this exercise you'll create PVIs at specific points. Tangents will be created between the PVIs and curves will be created at each PVI. On the Profile Layout Tools toolbar in the Draw Tangents list, select Draw Tangents with Curves. The command line now prompts for a start point. Before selecting a start point, verify that your object snap is on, specifically the endpoint and center point. Now, moving from left to right, click the circle center points to place the PVI.
Press Enter to complete the layout profile. The blue finished grade centerline profile and its labels are displayed in the profile view. I'll go ahead and close your toolbar. Now go into your Home tab, click your Layers, and go ahead and freeze this profile layer. Now you know how to design simple profiles in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.